It's a little over a month since Sala Babiri was voted to head the Uganda Netball Federation. Babiri and her executive have, however, not received instruments of power from the former executive that was headed by Susan and Nick. This, however, has not stopped the new executive from discharging their duties. Babiri says all her administration needs from the former executive is a handover report. We took over power on 5th of June. They left office and we took over. So all we need from them is a handover report, a report, not any other thing. Babiria said this during the launch of the Federation's new offices in Old Kampala. The former executive operated a smaller office at the National Council of Sports Headquarters in Gogo. It is something that we have been waiting for. You know you can't separate a lady with a woman. This is every girl child's dream. We all grew up knowing someday we'll get our own homes and we'll do ABCD. So to us, it's a big achievement. State Minister for Sports Dennis Hamson Obua presided over the launch. He was accompanied by former FUFA President Lawrence Murindwa, FUFA Vice President Justice Mugisha, and Nyamitiobola FC President Benny Misaga. Let's knock those for corporate sponsorship. I have always told Federation, in every national sports forum, which is a requirement of the law, and we are holding it every quarter, I have told them, please, leave your comfort zone. We need coaches who have been well trained. We need umpires. We need administrators. Those are areas which are so much lacking. Obua also launched the Federation's flag and four-year strategic plan. Hereby launch the Uganda Netball Federation Strategic Plan 2021-2025 and I unveil it both to the Federation and to the public for usage. I beg to launch. Sam Poza. NTV Sport.